Hello guys, how are you doing? Welcome back to Simu Key. Welcome back, even though I said I was going to give it a break. Welcome back to Recipe for Disaster. So uh, the game has released and the devs have already chucked in a bunch of updates on the day one patch. To be honest, I did know some of it was coming. Um, I don't know exactly what's in it at the moment, so I'm going to give it another little twirl and see how we get on. Um, and I'm glad that you guys uh, have been enjoying the other episodes, but rather than having so many, I mean, it was like 12 episodes or 13 episodes for that last mission, which is just too much, really. Um, this time round, what I'm going to do is uh, just try and put it all in one. Now, that could be difficult because sometimes it takes a long time. Uh, but based on the fact that day one of the last mission went so well, um, I'm confident I can nail this a little bit quicker. Um, as long as nobody gets sick. If somebody gets sick, I'm going to have to send them home. That's that's the only thing. That's what ruined it last time. Right, let's have a go. Old ribs. A decade ago, this place was a happening spot. Teens, college students and families couldn't get enough of Bob's legendary sticky ribs. Unfortunately, as the years passed, the area around the restaurant gradually began to fall into decline. To make matters worse, a notorious crime family moved in and began putting pressure on local businesses. This naturally took its toll on Bob's health and well-being and four months ago he sadly passed away. Bob's son Jamal dreams of going to college but has been left to pick up the pieces and truth be told is completely out of his depth. Bob was a god when it came to ribs but it seems that he was out of touch with reality for the last few years of his life. The place is a mess, the menu is outdated, and his choice of staff is, well, questionable. Last week, Jamal even had to sell some tables just to be able to keep up with rent. This is the last chance to bring Bob's ribs back to its glory days. The odds are stacked against you, but you're a master of defying the odds. Help save the restaurant and secure Jamal's future. We've got 4,750 starting money, 15% popularity, which is actually quite high. I suggest, I, or rather I suspect, we're going to have a couple of really tricky days. Win conditions, sell 10 dishes at £100 or more, 50 popularity and uh, 12 seated tables at the time, so it's quite big. One day without a negative review, that's for the bonus. That's going to be hard, one whole day without a negative review that is going to be difficult now if Jamal quits or is fired that's it um, but we're not allowed to be in debt ever so I'm not allowed to cheat a little bit this time it's almost like they watched and they saw and they didn't like me cheating right okay so let's get rid of the trash he's already got some equipment that's pretty good um, I could stick with those tables. I mean, Italian dining table in a ribs place. Does that work? If we can find this table. It's got no ambient modifier, be it positive or negative. What about this chair? Fancy wooden chair. A fancy wooden chair. So that actually has an ambient modifier of plus one. So, okay, we could stick with those chairs, that's all right. And what have we got here? It's like, it, it looks like we've got uh, two normal toilets. Oh, hello, there's a stall door. I didn't notice that before. And um, there's two normal toilets and uh, sort of a disabled toilet, by the looks of things, though. How wide is that? One, two. How wide is that? So that's three wide. So I could take that on. Oh no, I can't. That's not my land. <sighs> okay, so there's not much I could do with that. I might as well just leave that as is, to be quite honest with you. Massive working area, which is good to see. Um, let's just move this over. don't see any 
fire extinguishers, so we'll, we'll make sure we've got a couple of those right next to the grills. Okay, so that's that set. Um, we've got one fridge. Okay, so it's not an exhaustive, an, an exhaustive uh, list of things that we need to have in stock. Again, using my multiples of three in order to uh, start things rolling. And if anything keeps coming up as being low on stock, because they don't like low on stock, it adds to their stress levels a lot. Uh, but we've got to keep things under control. We'll start off with that. Now, what are the food dishes we're running? Menu. We've got golden ribs, 70 bloody quid. Buttery, decadent, fried and seared. Oh, seared? Hang on. Where are we searing stuff then? Oh, hello. You can put the, uh, the relaxing location inside. Oh, I didn't know that. Hang on, do we own this land? Do. Okay, so I could what I could do is I could move that outside and put a bit of decoration out there. spend too much but um, that will just make my staff when they go out there to relax they'll just feel a lot more relaxed as a result of that I don't think this building has any windows at all does it it doesn't oh my gosh yeah maybe that's a good thing <laughs> maybe that's a good thing yeah so I could extend this way a little bit by those things um, let's see if that fridge is going to be enough. I don't know if it will be. Have a look at this ambience overlay. Oh, no, it's awful. So we've got a little... You see we've got a little bit of green there. Maybe I need to do a little bit more. There's a little bit, of, it's like a small footage of, of happy greenness people can enjoy. Um, okay, right, so we need to have uh, a stove. I can see this is red. Needed for sear. We're going to go for the deluxe stove because there's actually not a huge difference in price. We'll double up. Why has that one gone outside like that? Early access bugs. <clears throat> it's probably something to do with the fire extinguisher, if I'm being honest. Which I might just grab another one. Stick there. Yeah, that works. Now we got three. I could put another one there, couldn't I? Four. So the kitchen is enormous. Maybe it doesn't need to be that big. Let's start small and work our way up. So we've got 3,000 left. And uh, can I move this? I don't think two is going to be enough, is it? We can actually get six in here. A bit of a tight squeeze. I'm not sure anyone can get out of that door. wants to get out of that door. It's going to be cramped in there. Um, I think we are going to need a window of some sort. Yep, 
go for that common wide window. Oh, I can't put it there for some reason. Because that bench is there. Okay. Right. Well, we've got a massive kitchen anyway. Um, what staff have we got? We've got Jamal and Sim UK. Hang on a minute. Part of the brief was that we had questionable... Okay, lazy, would rather not work at all, slow at cooking and loves to take long breaks. But he's damn good on the fryer. He is damn good on the fryer. Right, so this guy's got excellent charisma. He's pretty good at cleaning. Fryer and grill. He's insecure. We'll take him on. I think we can work with him. Uh, he's good on the grill. Oh, hang on. Do we have a grill? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Did I buy grills or did I buy... No, I bought a stove. We don't need a griller. We need a stover. Cleaning charisma is unfriendly. We'll avoid conversation altogether. That's not going to work. Wow. You're a hell of a fryer. Got to take you on. And you're pretty good on the stove, but you're unfriendly and a kleptomaniac. Um, carnivore. Insecure. Right, so it's just going to be us four for the first day. It's going to be tricky. Maybe I can boost my... Uh, why don't... If I ever leveled up, can I level up my character? Can I make myself better? That's a good question. All right. So we've got plenty, 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 plenty of fryers, two stoves, and um, I think we can do this. So let's jump in. got to assign jobs to everybody. So what I'm going to do, believe it or not, is I'm going to assign my... Oh, hang on. Brendan Payne loves... This is a problem. Brendan Payne... No, he's my fryer. But he loves serving. Brendan Payne cannot be on uh, here. Uh, no, Brendan Payne, sorry, cannot be on uh, on here. So Jamal. What's Jamal's skill? Oh, he's a level two. And also, so is Cameron Ferguson. All right, so we'll, we'll start with Cameron Ferguson then. Nope, sorry, get it the right way around. We'll put Jamal at the end. Basically, Jamal doesn't want to have to do anything. And we'll put ourselves in the middle. For all of these jobs. Which is probably going to drive my stress levels through the roof. And then we'll put Jamal on their third, we'll copy that. Copy that, right. So, I'm gonna be main server. Uh, Jamal's gonna be last server. Actually, can Jamal serve? Not bad, is he? In fact, we're all, we're all pretty good at serving. Uh, but Brendan loves it, so we'll put Brendan on there and we'll just copy that across. So today is probably going to be a rather difficult day. 1,300 in the bank. We've got to keep an eye on Jamal and make sure that he doesn't quit. Okay, Jamal, today is the first day of the rest of your life. We just need Castor and Murs. That. Can I, just out of interest, can I build this way? I can, by two, look.
so what I'm going to do I'm going to extend that out it was a bit silly putting that window there in the end wasn't it I'll move the door to there and on the floor There you go, it's a nice little entrance way now. And then we'll just, if I can, ditch that wall all together. That way we've got sort of a walk-in entrance area and it's not quite so cramped, it's not quite so cramped may have to stagger these tables. We'll see how that goes. Uh, what floor is that? Is it this one? Oh no, it's that one. I'll just move that table into the corner. That definitely opens things up a bit. Move this over. Over. I think that just it just works a bit better being staggered like that. I think. I have to move that door now. Okay, I'm slightly happier with that. I even like the white on the red. And can I have a nice big? going on here? Hey, we've got nothing in storage. We're waiting for a delivery, that's all. Oh, 69 plus 42. Oh, so the refrigerator's not big enough. I can see that now. I realise that now. Ah, okay. Should have paid attention to that earlier. Uh, we're going to move this over here. <coughs> Excuse me. We're going to sell that fridge and we're going to buy a bigger fridge. Double door. should have enough space. Oh my god, Ugh. disgusting. Um, okay. Let's bring those walls down again so I can see what I'm doing. I could get another toilet in there, couldn't I? Just thinking about it. Oh yeah. If I move that into there. Well, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to get a little plant. Decorations. There we go. Something like that. That's nicer, isn't it? One abound. Have a look. Oh, it's a little better. That makes a big difference, I've got to say. Why does that look so horrible? If I just put normal doors in there, will that look better? Nope, that's made it worse. Maybe a little plant in there. Oh, that kind of takes the edge off, but not by much. Why do mirrors make such a huge difference to everything? Alright, well that's a little better. There's not much positivity going on, is there? Dear me, I'm just wasting money now. I've got 152 left. I've got to stop spending money. Right, let's do this. Oh no, I need cleaning. I haven't done any cleaning areas. Right, so. 
Cameron Ferguson actually likes cleaning, so we'll have him clean in here. It'll be about 60% clean, my friend. And then somehow, Lord knows how, I'm going to have to clean this bit. And I hate cleaning. Even though I'm good at it, I hate it. I can't do that, it's going to add too much to my stress levels. I'll just have Dramol do it. 10% me. Well, 50%. Come on, just keep it half clean. It's not a big ask. All right, let's uh, let's uh, let's tick over the day and see how we get on. First customers are in. And eventually, there's me trotting out. If I can improve my uh, serving skills, then that's really going to help us in any future games or missions. Ticket goes up. I love how the ticket goes up. That's really cool. Might be the wrong side, but I like how the ticket goes up. So here he is. Who's this? Brendan Payne. Some sort of legend. Look at that. Look, at the, look how quick he fried that up. That's what's going to make it so much easier. And then I come in and I'm helping out, which is good because it means I'm not doing nothing. Jamal is in there now doing a little bit of work. This could work. Oh my gosh, we're actually really quite busy. Far busier, far quicker than I was anticipating, if I'm being honest. We definitely need more staff. We don't have enough staff. If I can get a dedicated person to come and take um, orders, that would help. Look at that. Four tickets up already. Oh, hello. Who is this? This happens quite a bit, and I don't quite get... I don't understand what this means. We're all doing well, though. Customer in the back, in the kitchen, I don't understand. I don't really understand what's going on. Being honest. Why has nobody taken this food yet? Oh, there we go. Nope, didn't pick it up. Why is no one taking that food? Hmm. Let's just rearrange these tablets a little bit then. Maybe that's better. Maybe nobody can get to that. What's going on exactly? Well, there's two dishes up here. Three dishes up. Not too bad, not too slow service. Jamal's actually doing some cleaning. How's his stress levels? Not too bad. Mines are going up a little bit. But actually, we're not doing we're not doing too bad. Look how well everyone's cooking. Everyone's actually having a pretty good time today. Are there any staff though? Oh yes, look at this. Hamish Rush. Oh, these are the uh, unfriendly guys. Yeah, we can't have them. We can't have them. We could have Hamish Russell grab Hamish Russell for a second and let's just come in here and go Hamish hey wait what the Cameron's cleaning in there who's why is nobody cleaning in here oh Well, that was lucky. I've accidentally created three cleaning areas. So Hamish is just dealing with the toilets then. That's not necessarily a bad thing. Not too much workload for him. He doesn't want to do too much anyway, Mr. Maj Jamal. Oh, my stress level's going up a little bit. So, yeah, hang on. Let me just check here a second. Ren and Payne probably shouldn't have you... Um, doing anything like that. Hamish Russell is rubbish at serving. 
but I'd rather have the idiot guy or the unfriendly guy um, doing a poor job than take the cook off the cooking. Now this is where it's going to start getting tricky is when we start going for rests and stuff like that. Because at the moment we're holding it together but the stress levels are going up. So as soon as we go for a break, then we're down by two or three people and then we've got problems. We seem to be ticking over quite well at the moment. Could, could do with having some rugs on the floor perhaps. Oh, we went £2.83 into debt. Ah. Oh. And literally, customers were just about to leave and they would have paid their bill. Ah. Oh. Dastardly. Dastardly game. All right. Ah. Frustrating much. Right, here we go again. At least we know what we're going to do this time. Duplicate. Try and keep a little bit more money in the old bank account this time. Move that mirror. Duplicate that mirror. Put a window in. <clears throat> that looks quite nice. Move the table into the corner, move that one next to it, and then we'll duplicate these. Maybe five tables. Yeah, maybe we'll just run with five tables. Can I move that any closer to this? Not comfortably. Right, we'll go with five tables. Five, t five tables is going to be a little bit easier to work with. We might get lucky. Um, who have we got work-wise? Lots of charisma. Good on the oven. Good on the stove. Empathetic kleptomaniac. So he's going to be stealing food from us, but that's not necessarily the worst thing. We have a server and a cleaner. Sean Powell. Going to save our lives. Right, so we'll move this back outside again. We'll sell this. Get rid of all the rubbish. We'll buy some uh, some stuff. Put a wall vine up. Have a little tree. Medium plants. How's that looking? Yep. So people can go relax there. <clears throat> the only problem is, of course, uh, that the way I've set that up, they have to walk all the way around, which... Yeah, that should be fine. That should be fine. Right, we're going to move... This time we'll move the fryers over here. Get the uh, fire extinguishers in. Oh, if I can. I, sometimes when you click on stuff, it doesn't register. I don't know why. Two fire extinguishers. Three fire extinguishers. Right, so we know that this storage shelf is fine, but the fridge is too small. So we'll sell the fridge. We'll buy a double door fridge. Okay, good. So they were telling me um, that they've added loads of stuff to the game since release after my review. Um, I'll be honest, I haven't, I haven't really spotted anything just yet. Nothing really standing out as being new or improved or anything like that. Deluxe stove. Let's have it. And another fire extinguisher just there. So we know how big a problem that can be. Right, so we are 
Am I going to extend the wall? I mean, is there any actual financial benefit to that? I don't think there is, is there? Maybe what I'll do... I'll bring that down to there. And then we've got a bit of a walk-in area. People are going to have to walk around to get to the toilet, but uh, I don't think anyone cares about that so much. I don't really need that door. Bit of light, though. Nobody, nobody wants to be sat in a dark room, really. Right. Let's get on. Let's open. So we don't have our super, super chef this time, which is a bit of a shame. Uh, so Michael Wallace. We'll put Jamal third. And we'll put me in there. I'll be like the, the fall over guy, the helping out guy. Annoyingly, Jamal is the, the key dude. He was doing all right, actually, wasn't he, Jamal? I've got to say, he wasn't struggling too much. So, all right, we'll put Jamal on first. Sean Powell in there, and then I'll be, like, the full guy. Bringing up the slack. But Sean Powell, though, is in charge of this. We'll put Jamal on there, too. I'll help out where I can. tables so that should be that done and dusted now what I need to do is keep this place clean Only really one man for that job that's Sean all right let's get on it we've got 1128 in the bank that should be enough to keep us afloat all those other little tweaky tweaky job things I did before not really necessary. A little bit pointless. Do we own this land? Hang on a minute. Do we own this land? No. no, no, no. Right, so we got five seats, we can make six, we can squeeze a sixth one in there. Um Right, first customers are in. Let's speed up the day a little bit. We know this should go reasonably well. We've got the same format as last time. Order's taken. See, look, he's waving. What does that mean? You click on that and it just brings up that sheet. It's a little confusing. Right, so three tables straight off the bat before lunchtime. That's a good start. Oh, it's got started raining that means customers are going to be less patient more demanding but that's okay we're on it we're already on it running low on t-bone i think we just had a delivery right everyone's doing well the cooking is going well etc sean is stressed out a little bit he's going for a break so that's all good You can see items are not clean. We're going we're to start having fires here at this rate. But the money is coming in. We are making profits. Uh, this is good. This is good. And Sean's had a little break and he feels better. Maybe we'll get some ranking up options and uh, be able to help him stay chilled. Yeah, he's struggling. I'm struggling. We're just short staffed. We don't really have enough staff for this. Stress levels are going right up there. But I'm on a break. I'm on a break, so we're good. We're out in the garden. I'm making them feel better. So, a complaint there. This place could look better. 
Uh, we've got a recipe coming in as well. Basic recipe, spicy chicken breast created. So if we come in here, then we can add uh, chicken breast to our ingredients. And just make sure... No. Just make sure that we got enough to cover all of the recipes. So you can see here, ground beef went up a little bit. That's okay. It is a bit messy, the, the the store, but I mean, we haven't got the uh, chili powder. Okay, chili powder, chili powder. We'll just up that. Oh yeah, should have, yeah, should have done anyway. Okay, that's fine. That's all right, let's take it over. And we're surviving. I mean, it is, it is a struggle. It's not very clean, uh, which is a bit of a problem. But so far, so good. It's five o'clock in the afternoon. We've nearly finished the day. If we get lucky with staff options this evening, then we could be absolutely fine tomorrow. Could be, could be, could be. And I'm pretty sure we've made a profit today, which is good. Oh my god! Oh, I thought we'd done the uh, bonus thing, one day without a negative review. I thought we'd managed it somehow. Had to wait a long time before Sim UK served me. This restaurant needs more people urgently. Well, this is true. This is true. This is the situation we're in. So today's going to be a bit of a flop. Uh, but tomorrow should be much better. Oh, and there we go. There's our first fire. And only two people with fire extinguishers can get in there, because it's in the corner. Bit of a design mistake there. Oh great, now that's on fire. Come on, come on peeps! We're nearly at the end of the day, let's just make it. Let's just make it to the end of the day, guys. Okay, let's close now. closed now it's only gonna get worse it's only gonna get worse so we, we desperately need someone who can clean tomorrow uh, hang on finances oh yeah well we spent a lot of money on stuff didn't we I think we actually made a bit bit of profit house of ribs 480 total revenue 40 percent okay so Let's go to the next day. Pause it up. And what have we got? We have a server. That's going to help. And she's pretty good on the stove and she can serve. So this is good. Um, right. Sean Powell. He's our head server, Mr. Sean Powell. I wonder if I should go down the route of, um... oh, hang on. Can't you do the uniforms from here? Oh, yes. Uniform editor, right. So let's go for waiters. New uniform. waiters so uh forage oh, that's interesting we'll have none and we'll go apron yes we want an apron transfer the colors so I think that looks pretty smart I've gone for the sort of red white and blue um, we'll save that that's what the waiters are gonna wear if we close that then uh, add a group 
group name waiters and we'll make that red save that group right so sean powell he's our head waiter and emma hicks is in there she's a waitress tony vargas is a waitress but she can also double up in the kitchen and then these guys are just in the kitchen so he he michael wallace should be on the on the pan i wish i hadn't put dislike on my cleaning skills and then given myself cleaning skills that was a stupid thing to do so jamal on the fryer and um yeah michael on the thingy and i'll just sort of hang around in between the two i guess cleaning thing sorted what we'll do is we'll have a cleaning section in there I wonder if I can clean I'm gonna stick myself on the clean thing and just see how well I get on um, then we're gonna have another one here for Sean Powell Tony Vargas, and Emma Hicks. So these guys will keep it nice and clean in there. And then <clears throat> last time we just had Jamal dealing with this. So I'm going to say, Jamal, just keep the, the toilets clean, dude. 60% clean, which doesn't seem enough, but whatever. Uh, so I've got myself in there cleaning. Uh, we'll just have all the lads. Michael Wallace, hang on. Okay, confused. Michael Wallace is a cook. Yeah, Sean Powell is the server. Right. So, let's get out of this screen. Ditch all of this. So we're going to have Jamal, and I'm just going to... Oh, we'll have Tony Vargas come in there, and I'm just going to try and help out wherever I can. Copy that over. Not Jamal, not you, not me. Um, oh, I'll put this back to front, damn it. Jamal. Damn it, Hicks hates it. Right, so I'm just going to back up Jamal when Jamal's too busy. Oh, this one's more. So Michael Wallace is in charge of this. Tony can help out where, where possible and Jamal can help out as well. Right. Let's see how that goes. I think the fact that I'm on cleaning duty is going to be a bit of a problem. Let's just slow that down so I can keep track of what's going on. So hopefully we get everything cleaned up in the kitchen. Um, what's going on? Oh, no servers. That's weird. Right, let's fix this up. So, Sean Powell is our lead server. The two ladies. Right, there we go. Sorted. Got there in the end. Hopefully no customers turn up before we've cleaned the place. Oh, they've just arrived at just the right time, actually. The kitchen is looking much better. My stress levels are out of control. Go and have a rest. I've reached breaking point. All right. So I mean that's I mean that's just frustrating. Uh, I'll take myself off there, and we'll just say that we'll just ask the front of house team to do it. There's three of them. I'm sure they can cope. They're going to have to cope because I can't do it. I mean I, I'm willing to do it as a player, but my character is simply not going to do it. See, I walk in and I set fire to something. So, um, 
We can't have that, can we? <laughs> we can't have me walking in at breaking point and setting fire to things all the time. That's ridiculous. I do find that terrible annoying. Right, so the fire should be out. We've got... Oh, now there's a fire that side. Come on guys, come on guys. Get the fire's out. Get the fire's out, clean it all up. Let's get back on track. That's all of that stems from me being put on cleaning duties. So we'll never put me on cleaning duties again. I don't know what that guy's all about. What does that represent? New recipe. Basic boiled brown onion created. Oh, lovely. That sounds, that sounds absolutely delicious. And, okay. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 Brown onion. All we had to do was just increase the amount of brown onion that got delivered. Right, so we've got no customers right now. And Jamal appears to be hiding in the toilet. For whatever reason. Jamal! I was having a break in the toilet. Okay, that's fair enough, I suppose. Some people do that, you know. So the order's been taken. The order's come in. Jamal is on the case. Stress levels are high, but not out of control. So let's hope things improve. Service ready. Right, I think we can speed things up. We're definitely not going to go into debt. What's our popularity? Oh my gosh, it's all the way down to 5%. Who's leveled up? Sean has leveled up. Sean is front of house. So full house, happy when tables are full. Rockstar, increases the cooking skills of other employees nearby whilst cooking. Well, he doesn't do any cooking, so he's going to have to be a full house. So he's happy when it's full. So instead of his stress levels go up, he's actually happier when the tables are full. stress levels. I've got to go have a break. I don't understand. When you have a break, your stress levels don't appear to come down. See, nothing is happening to my stress. I don't understand that. That makes no sense. Surely that's part of the reason for having a break. Bring your, st you know, get your stamina back and calm down. Right, so I can boost her cleaning. That's good for us. Bounce back, calming presence, rock star. Increases the cooking skills of other employees. Will lower the stress of people in the room if someone is about to reach breaking point. Let's have that. That's what we need. We need her to help chill me out. No, look, my stress levels are still going up. I don't know how to de-stress myself. Keep sending myself out for a break. I'm at breaking point. Why have I just... I don't even understand why that happens. I am now confused by that combination of things. Right, what I'm going to do... I'm going to move this. And I'm going to move this. And I'm going to move this. And I'm going to move this. We've got like a little cocoon of happiness. <laughs> And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Actually, I could just move that, couldn't I? Just give me the door, and we'll put it there. And then people haven't got to walk all the way around to get to the chilled out area. They can just go straight through that door. All right. <clears throat> so I shouldn't have put myself on cooking duty. That was a mistake. But... That's weird. Customers are leaving through the kitchen. Right, that's the end of the day. Negative reviews, 31%. It's come down, and we actually made a profit today. 190, 80. Well, that's good. Day three, then. What we need is some staff. Some really good staff. What have we got here? We've got a serving helper. No good at cleaning, though. And you're basically skilled in all the areas we don't work on. Yep, 
Yeah, so we're not going to gain any staff there, unfortunately. Right, so I'm not on uh, cleaning duty today, so let's see if we can get our popularity up to 10%. That would be good. Kind of need to have a day where things go a little bit better. Let's invest a little bit in decorations. Put some table vases out. Actually, let's go for the napkin holders. They're cheaper. And more in keeping with what we're doing here. Uh, flower box. Uh, let's go for a medium plant. It's increased some ceiling lights. Ah, ceiling lights help a lot. Look at that. I had no idea. Fancy wall light. We'll have a fancy wall light outside. We'll have one inside. Oh, this is so much better. Well, I wish I'd figured out this earlier on. Uh a nice ceiling light in each of these toilet areas. Well, that doesn't actually do that much to improve that. Let's maybe go for a painting. Oh yeah, that helps. Right, that's vastly better. Oh, I just went into debt! Oh, you stupid idiot. What did I spend that was so expensive? There were only like 50, 60 quid, 250 for that. I suppose four of them is a thousand pounds. Oh, what a buffoon. What an absolute toss pot. Cannot believe I did that. Actually, do you know what? I can load, can't I? Let's load from yesterday. Old ribs, day three, yes. All right, so that was stupid. Oh, man. I've got to be real careful of that. Way more careful. All right, so listen. Uh, we know that... Let's go table lamps. If light makes that much difference, let's just whack this back on again. Oh, look at that. Yeah, that's the way forward. Um, wall light, fancy wall light. Oh, that's nice. I can't put it there because that's there. Yes, yeah, so we'll, have, we'll have some fancy wall lights outside. Some fancy wall lights inside. not helping in there very much right we've got 556 but that looks a lot happier i'm gonna have to redesign these toilets they're absolute disgrace have we got any new staff then that we didn't have before charisma countertop grill oven kevin hamilton's good at serving let's take him on and Okay, I'll tell you what we could do. We could split this. So that the two people who really love it can run three tables and the other guys can run two. And that frees them up a little bit then for cleaning. Right, 6%. Sorry about that. Let's, um, let's try and not go into debt. 
So the food ingredients have arrived. That's good. Jamal's cooking very poorly. Not a good start to the day. I had an idea as well. If I move, I shift all of this. We'll be able to get three fire extinguishers on every single bit of equipment then if we have any fires today. Look, we've got some happy smiley faces. Oh, that didn't last long. That <laughs> did not last long at all. Who the hell are you? Why are you in the kitchen? Oh, you're a cleaner lady. All right, cool. Right, it's uh, it's one o'clock in the afternoon. We've got no customers. That's because of our 6% popularity rating. Level up and level up. Perfect. Sean. Calming presence. Oh, I'm tempted to go with the calming presence. Bounce back, popular kid. There we go. So she's going to encourage more people to come in and he's going to calm everybody down. That is a good combination of upgrades right there. Got some customers. That's good. At the moment, the staff are kind of standing around, not really doing very much. Sean Powell, some sort of cleaning legend. Emma gets a rank up. There we go. Taking a break with other employees makes them happier. Getting a good collective team spirit going on there. This is good. And there we go. Four stars. This is good. So we're a two-star restaurant right now, but with the improvements I've put on the, uh, the ambiance, I think we're going to be heading into positive realms pretty quickly. There you go, four stars across the board, look at that. This could be the day where we get a whole day without a negative comment, possibly. It's a bit early to say that, four o'clock in the afternoon, but you never know. You never know. Have we had any negative comments? Oh yeah, we've already had. We've already had one. Sean Powell was rude, but this place looks amazing. So he's leveled up there. Tony has leveled up. Oh no, look at the stress levels, go rest. Uh, let's put her in as a chat box as well. Hopefully she'll cheer people up. So what is it that Tony's doing that's stressing her out so much? According to this, she's only running two, two kitchens. Tony Vargas is like some sort of super cleaner. She's also quite good at cleaning. Oh look, we've got two excellent cleaners here. So let's just have them do all the cleaning. He likes cleaning, Sean Powell, so we'll keep him on the clean. Right, okay. I think that's a better dynamic that we've got there now. Let's just have the people who like serving, serving. Tony should be a lot happier now, just walking around cleaning. Fireproof, full house, second wind, lowest stress during breaks. That's what we need. Get that stress level down, Sean. Emma, Nightcrawler, popular kid, uh, Michelin chef. Uh, let's go. Um, let's get popular. Let's get more people in. More people in. We're up to 14%. We've definitely had a good day, I'd say. I've got a little bit of a fire situation. Seems to be under control now. We've actually got customers waiting. Look at this. 
This is a good sign. Uh, I've got 924 quid. Can I possibly duplicate that table and pop it there? Okay. Okay. Now nobody's waiting. We've got six people in. This is good, I think. Pretty decent stuff. Four stars, three stars. This is excellent stuff. Excellent stuff. Pretty sure we've uh, got the got a grip on this now Could maybe benefit from having one or two extra cleaning staff just to keep things in a slightly cleaner state uh, we do need to expand the restaurant obviously we need to get up to 12 tables we know this already uh, so that's okay good day's work there guys well done pretty sure we made a nice profit as well got a good team now Tony's the only one who's really getting stressed but I had her sort of serving tables and stuff so she won't be doing that tomorrow 928 lost must have bought all of this stuff yeah I bought all of that stuff okay We've got 963 oh I can't afford this plot but that would be the ideal plot wouldn't it All right, let's see what staff we've got. What staff options have we got? Wow, we've got lots today. So we've got an, an additional fryer, and she can not work the stove, but she can serve. Fryer, not very good. Uh, not very good. Not very good. You can serve. Other than that, not very impressive. Right, let's hire Joanna Graham. Pause that a second. Joanna Graham, let me just check. So yeah, she's going to be in the cooking area. Kevin Hamilton is... What is Kevin Hamilton? He's a server. He should be down here with the waiters. Uh, Joanna Graham, though, is sort of an in-betweeny. She can do, like, everything. Uh, but she likes a bit of cleaning as well. So, let's see. Cleaning area one, we'll put Joanna Graham on there. Increase that, we've got three people working on that now, that should be fine. Um, that's full, come out of that. Put Joanna Graham on there. Right, let's put her in the second spot because she's better at it than I am. Uh, Sean Powell's better at it than I am. Everybody's better at it than I am. All right, not to worry. So I think we're going to have a really good day today. I think we're going to make a big fat profit. And um, when we do, we can expand the restaurant and get these 12 tables in. 19% popularity. It's definitely an improvement. I would really like it if the cleaning staff... Whole area clean. Right, we've got happy smiley faces. Tony's getting a little bit stressed already, but uh, it's not too bad. It'll be worth it in the end. Jamal has just ranked up. Happy when the tables are full. Customers will be willing to pay more. I'll tell you what, he's actually done really well, hasn't he? Let's go to the menu. Let's start doing this. House of Ribs. That's the one that's selling the most. Let's make this $101. It's our most popular dish. And he's a, he's a high-class chef now, so people are willing to pay more. And that will tick off uh, 10 dishes at £100 or more. We'll see how that goes. There's definitely a chance it's going to work. Yeah, stress levels look good. Everyone's ticking over, doing their jobs. Everything looks fine. A little bit messy in here. Oh, a one-star review. 
I need more toilets. Yeah. Okay, we need more toilets. So Kevin has ranked up. Um, customers will pay more when served by this employee. Let's have a bit of that, please. Joanna, improve your cleaning skills. And me... Doesn't slow down when I'm tired. That seems like a good idea. Truth be told, that is actually one of my real life issues. When I get tired, I like struggle. Struggle, struggle, struggle when I'm tired. Well, we are certainly busy. Look at this. Everyone's cooking well. Everyone's performing well. Why is nobody clean in this area? What is going on down here? Ladies, come on. Have Sean. Oh, is it because I've got I've got it at such a low level? Come on. We need to have that in clean in there, guys. Mess is not acceptable. Sean is now stressed out. He's gone for a break. Okay, though, going for a break is uh, perfectly reasonable. Joanna ranks up. Fast feet. She's now 10% faster. Nobody is coming out here and cleaning this. I don't understand why. Still nobody cleaning. Still no one cleaning. It's getting towards the end of the day. A bit of stress and tiredness is creeping in, but that's okay. I mean, we are so, so popular. 30% popularity, 31% popularity. We are. We sold 9 out of 10 dishes at $100 or more. This has been a good day. Uh, so we just need to have the cash to expand. And we are going to be rocking and rolling this little joint. There we did. Oh, look. Done one. First job completed. Joanna, calming presence. I think that's a good idea. Let's have a calming everybody down. Stress levels under control. What a great team we have. Still nobody's cleaning the toilets though. I think I'm going to rip these out and redesign them to be honest. I think it's something that needs to happen. When you've got this many customers, this is not enough toilets. Got 2,000 in the kitty. Not bad at all. Finally, somebody's cleaned the toilets. I guess, genuinely, I think they've just been that busy uh, that maybe we just need to get a couple more cleaners. It's blessed. They're trying to do so many things. We've got five stars there. We've gone up to a three star restaurant. Popularity is at 32%. Good work today, guys. Well done. Well done. That was a big, big step forward. 11% negativity. We made £1,371 today. That is good stuff. All right. Sticking at it. I could buy this plot of land, but then I don't think I'd have enough money to... To progress. So what I'm going to do instead, I'm going to go to the next day, I'm going to pause it there, just have a quick look at the available, oh look at you, cleaning legend! You're pretty good at cleaning, Brian. Okay, what I'm going to do then, I'm going to come into staff, I'm going to go uniform editor, uh, I'm going to go new uniform, and I'm going to say cleaners right hat yes they're gonna wear a hat it's gonna be a beanie and what they're gonna be doing is pinking it up Sneakers, full apron, 
slacks. gone pink now I hate it but it will make them stand out won't it okay so we'll transfer the colors they actually look better um, okay we'll save that that's now cleaners we'll come in here we'll create create a new group called cleaners and we'll save that group All right now we've got just got to figure out who's gonna go in the cleaners Sean Powell oh no hang on you're a server Brett Rubens, how am I going to do this? Brett Rubens, but how am I going to do this? I can't, let's minimize the waiters. Brett Rubens, you're a cleaner now, buddy. Joanna Graham, Joanna Graham is, I think she's a cook, but she's so good at cleaning. Maybe she should be a cleaner. Emma Hicks is also incredibly good, and Sean Powell. So we'll have these guys dealing with the... Um, yeah, okay. So we'll have these guys dealing with the main cleaning area. Where did I just put her? All right, bit of a change around coming. But area three is now going to be dealt with by... Oh my god, look at this. Brett Rubens is a five as well. Where's Brett Rubens? Oh, hang on. Brett Rubens is the new guy. Trying to ground. Who's the other person then? Sean Powell, as well as serving, is going to clean Joanna Graham, Emma Hicks. Oh, God, I'm so confused. Who's Emma Hicks? <clears throat> Emma Hicks is a waitress. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. But Emma Hicks, so you two are perfectly capable of keeping that 100% clean. All right, so do it. And then we're going to have uh, Brett... Joanna Graham in there, 100% clean please, get rid, get rid, have Joanna Graham, Brett Rubens in there, right so we've got the probably the best possible uh, cleaning team that we've ever had. So, as much as I'd like to make these toilets really nice and super duper, I fear what I'm going to have to do is just to have more of them. So we're just going to go boom, 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 like that. Grab a wall, stick the wall down the middle. And grab a door. I'm going to go for a solid door. I just prefer that. Being honest. Right, so how awful does that look now? Okay, they are all really bad. So if I put a nice little light in there. great deal to improve things. Right, we've got 718 left. That's much nicer. These are still horrible, but it's a step in the right direction. Um, is there like a really cheap mirror? So I can, I can whack. Right, 
no more than that. No more than that, because I don't want to go into debt. If we go into debt, it's game over, so. Okay, guys, bring it in. Do a few things to spice up the old kitchen as well. Make that a nicer working environment. Reduce people's stress. Right, let's hope the new cleaning regime is going to pay off. Definitely the whole place looks better. If we can make £2,000 a day, then uh, I'm sure we can expand. Once we expand, uh, we should be close to uh, succeeding particular mission. Uh, lower stress during breaks. Talking, Taking a break with other employees will make them happier. Love, love, love. That's a random love action. Go on, then. He loves the oven. That was a gamble that didn't pay off. Never mind. So, yeah, we're a little bit less busy today, it seems. Just one table, two tables. Start slow, build it up. all over it now all over it now lots of people standing around not doing very much so we're ready to expand not making huge amounts of profit today either four star new request what's the new request boiled pork ribs okay boiled pork ribs go. Let's just increase the amount of ribs that we got coming in and then we can add that to the menu. What I might do as well, what's our least favourite here? Boiled brown onion. I'm hardly surprised. I'm going to remove that from the menu because uh, it's old and it's knackered and I don't even like the sound of it. Although I have uh, had uh, onion soup and that was bloody lovely. I'd say French onion soup. Three stars, three stars, and they're paying a hundred and one for that. Oh, a fire. It's the first fire we've had for a while. It's all under control, no problems at all. Jamal has been really easy to work with. He's just, he's, he's been, considering he's supposed to be lazy and not want to do any work, he's been fantastic. He's been the cornerstone of everything, right, up until this point. So they're all happy that there's lots of toilets. Oh, I'm really impressed. What's on there? A bunch of extra ingredients, uh, uh, recipes rather. Covered it all. What did we? What did we just add then? Mama's dish: ground beef, garlic, and clams. <laughs> that does not sound that appealing. I'll be honest. Running low on beef sirloin. So, yes, um, we got the toilets sorted at least. They're at least, I mean, they're horrible, but they're, there's enough there to cater for the number of customers that we're having, which is a good thing. Restaurant fires are a bit of a problem. This is why we need a maintenance guy, so that that fryer doesn't catch on fire quite so bloody often. Look at that. 
Is that five stars? No, I think it's two lots of four stars overlapping each other. 41% popularity. I think it's time to expand. Definitely fix the toilet situation and everything's a lot cleaner. Can I do something really crazy? Like, for example, in here, can I just go... I think like the cooking equipment and stuff is just so horrible and vulgar that no matter what I do, well that's improved it. Yeah, that improves it a lot. And for not too much money, that works. That's a lot nicer. Cracking. Okay. So 14% negativity today. We spent 1,300 on stuff. House of Ribs. Still our most popular dish of all. Right, so we're only interested now in like the top of the top. So this is a great fry. Oh my god. You're fantastic, Aaron. <laughs> we're going to have to hire you, I'm afraid. And... You're good at serving, but we don't really need any servers right now. So Aaron Boyd, then. Let's just check this out a second here. Joanna Graham should not be in that role. I shouldn't be in that role, but Aaron Boyd can definitely take on that responsibility, and that should reduce the number of fires that we have. And Aaron Boyd is pretty good at that as well. Brett Rubens likes to cook occasionally. Michael Wallace is the, is, is the king. But we'll put Aaron Boyd on there as well. That's going to improve the cooking. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, so I just need now, basically now, we need enough cash to purchase this bit of land. And then we can squeeze out the last few little bits that we've got to do. We've got six seats in there already. It's a bit, a bit cosy. We we'll expand out. We'll have enough space to put 12 seats in, I hope. And uh, that could be good. Who's levelled up? Who has levelled up? Shawnee baby. Bounce back, chatterbox. Taking a break with other players will make them happier. Let's do that. Because Sean does get a bit stressed. Every now and then. I've noticed. Oh, level up. Kevin. Popular kid. Brings in more customers. We like that. Aaron Boyd performed exceptionally well. And we still have a fire. Even though I improved all of the cooking situation. Damn man, awesome. Jamal is absolutely happy as a pig in pigsty so that's good that's the key thing emma ranks up silky voice customers will pay more when served by this employee does emma actually serve anyone though she certainly does yeah we i mean we are like a silky smooth. Until something went wrong there. Something went wrong there. What was that noise? Look, positive, positive, positive. Green, 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 green. All happy. All happy. Oh my god, we've got a day without any 
Oh gosh. Oh, we're close to this now. Don't touch anything. Just let it tick over. We've got a day of no complaints whatsoever. And it's five o'clock in the afternoon. We've got five hours to get through and we'll have completed this bonus thing. And then it's just a case of expanding and putting 12 seats in. Restaurant's on fire again. I don't know if these have just got old and knackered, but we haven't had any fires for, for like a whole week. And now we've had like four in one day. Crazy. Look at this. Look at this. All positive stuff. 58%. We're a three-star restaurant. We should be going up to three and a half stars soon. We're getting so many four-star feedback. Kevin Hamilton served me incredibly fast. I think we've got a silky smooth system here. Seven o'clock in the evening. Still no negative comments. Come on. Oh, I've started cooking and I've cooked badly. 60% popularity. I didn't even realise we've, we've exceeded this one by quite, quite a lot. Is that it? End of the day. Without a single negative. Oh, I didn't think we were actually going to manage to do this. Is that it? Oh, I'd be so chuffed if we do this one. This one, to me, seemed impossible. One day without a negative review. I've never seen it. I bet you there's a negative review squeaked in there somewhere that I haven't noticed. Is that it? Have we done it? Oh my gosh. Have we actually done it? Eight percent negative. What? This menu lacks dishes that I like. I wish they had grilled pork on the ribs. Fried Charlie was okay. Emma Hicks was rude. When did all of that happen? Damn it. I thought we'd actually... Uh, but we'd actually nailed that. I'm a little disappointed. Right, this is 1,450. Uh, we're just going to buy that. We're going to start the day. Sell. Sell, sell, sell. That makes the place look a lot better, doesn't it? Straight away. Right, I've got 706. Walls are actually quite cheap. So can we just... Let's see where the... Oh, there it is. So what we can do is just move some of this stuff. Opens the space up. A 
there. 512 still in the bank. Can I get a floor down? That one. Part of the restaurant is not accessible. Which part of the restaurant would that be? part of the restaurant is not accessible. Please check the highlighted tiles. People can get there. What are you talking about? Fill the door there. Doors there. Oh, is it that? Is it that, perhaps? No? Uh, has that fixed it? No, it's still telling me part of the restaurant is not accessible. Which part of the restaurant would that be? How is that not accessible? Has that fixed it? Something I did fixed it. Okay, I'm not entirely sure what I did that fixed it, but something fixed it. Right, we've got 383 left. The ambiance is not as good as it was because we've got a much bigger space and not a lot of stuff in the middle of it. But uh, now we can put in the 12 tables that we need in order to complete the last part of our task. So I'm very excited about this. And they're playing with the... What are they doing? What are they doing? <laughs> they were just playing with the doors. That's so odd. All right. All right, good. Oh, hang on a flipping minute. I need to do the floor. But I need to do the floor without going into debt. Can I do that? Five pounds. Okay, that's good. Um, but I also need to increase the cleaning area. I've just realised. Right, expand. We're going to have to get one of the specials on it. Brett Rubens will come and help you out because he's a legend. Right, we got there in the end. We got 281. I cannot go into debt. Oh, I'm a little bit nervous about that. A little bit nervous about that. We need some customers paying some money 
The restaurant is on fire. That's not bloody good either. Right, there we go. There's some money coming in. Running low on chicken wing. Come in here and have a look at chicken wing. I'll up that to five then. If chicken wing is suddenly popular, we better make sure we got enough to keep track of it all. School bus has arrived. Cool. I'm so tempted to just start copying and pasting these tables, but I know that it's going to put me in debt. Well, I don't know. Well, maybe, yeah. It could be about 500 to 600 quid for one table. So I've just got to be really patient. As much as I desperately want to do it, uh, now is not the time. Now is not the time. So Brett is proper stressing out. Aaron. Oh, international chef. Customers will be willing to pay more. So we could put our prices up. Um, let's see what we got here. One, two, three, four. Pull up to 75. Fried Charlie, which is super cheap for our restaurant. That can go up to 30. Mama's Dish can go up to 35. House of Ribs is good at that. The Breast can go up to 15. Pull up to 20. There you go. Right. Let's see if that works. Way more cash in the bank. Look, customers are queuing up, patiently waiting to get into our restaurant. That's what we like to see. All right, let's have a look. How much is it going to cost me to duplicate that table? Wow, a lot. I don't actually know how much that cost. I think it was about 400 or something. What's going on here? Fires, fires, fires everywhere. Bearing in mind, he's a level five chef, and the guy who's helping him is a level four chef, I think. That shouldn't be happening as often as that. It just seems a bit overkill. Too many fires. Too many fires. There's a bit of dirt on the floor there. No one's cleaning up. Come on, guys, get to it. Oh, we did. We did do the bonus day with that one negative review. That's so weird, because it said that there were negative reviews. OK, we did do it. I've only just spotted that. Bit of skill, bit of luck, bit of awesomeness. Michael, uh, what, is, what does Michael do? Stress tolerant, calming presence, let's have that. Calm everybody down, nice. Right, so we've got 800 in the bank. That means I think I can duplicate this tabla. Not that we have anyone waiting. Oh, look at you, you idiot. Blocking my table positioning system. Yeah, it's about 400-ish. Again, I forgot to check how much it was. All right, that's 779. Get these guys out of the way. I can duplicate the table again. Be careful though, gotta be careful. What am I doing here? Forgetting how the game works, that's what I'm doing. Duplicate, La Tabla. Good stuff. Yeah, we've turned this into a, a, a vibrant, uh, positive restaurant. And uh, with only a few terrible mistakes along the way. Which is good. And the ambiance is not bad, and every time I put a table down, the ambiance gets better because of that lovely lamp in the middle and the chairs. 384 still in the bank. That means we've had a successful day. An expensive day, but successful nonetheless. Right, day eight. This should be it. Uh, he's great on the grill. We don't have any grill stuff. Mark Weaver's pretty good on the stove. I could take him on. Daniel's pretty good on the stove. A 
Look, at Dixon's pretty good on the stove. Okay, so we just hired three stove chefs, which means we can take Jamal and me off there because we should not be doing that. And we'll put on these much, much better guys. Michael Wallace is obviously a bit of a legend as well. And that should free up the fryers to just sort of get on and fry and not have to worry about running the stove. Right, customers. First thing in the morning, straight away. A bit nervous about how much money we've got. Need someone to pay something quick. Because our food bill is about 200. There's our first payment coming in. We should be okay from this point in. Right, four stars, three stars, four stars. Everyone's cooking perfectly. This is great. Great news. Loads of people standing around not doing anything. Me being one of them. Oh, still getting fires. Maybe we need one more fryer. Is anyone here good at frying? No. 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 Okay. Maybe we need one more fryer. Dishes to go out, guys. Dishes to go out. We're getting there, we're getting there, we're getting there. No huge profits coming in though. It's four o'clock in the afternoon, we've only got 585 pounds. Maybe we have too many staff now. Sort of being counterproductive. There's a bit of cash. There's a bit of cash. Thank you very much. Just as I needed the cash to start rolling in, it starts rolling in. Duplicate la table. Can I squeeze that in there? One, two, uh, two, four, six, eight, nine, two, three more of these tables. Who is this guy? Daniel Simpson. What do you do? Not doing anything. literally stood there doing nothing at all. A bit like me. <laughs> I don't do anything either. Daniel Simpson, I think we're going to have to sack you, buddy. Um, because you don't do anything, mate. I've got to get me doing something. This is crazy. Where's Sim UK? Right, they've moved out of the way. I can now finally put my table down. Uh, duplicate the tabla. One. Oh, I can't put them all down. This is dangerous. I'm taking a risk by doing that. Look at that. 95% popularity. That's insane. Sim UK, rank up. Uh, Michelin chef. Let's do it. Everything I cook is perfect. How are we going to get 12 tables sat down? That is quite a big ask. 
96% popularity. I mean, come on. There's not much you can do about that. No, like, get rid of this crap out here. Right, so now at last we have 12 tables. Should I move those so that it's a bit more uniform? Whoops, whoa. Oh my god, stop doing this. Goodness me. Move le table. So we've got 12 tables, we just need to fill them all, and we are golden. And we're three and a half stars as a restaurant. That's not bad at all. Technically, I think we're a four-star restaurant. How would you get to five stars? I mean, I'm not sure. I'm not sure you, how we how you would even possibly do that. Right, last day. Philippa Fernandez is pretty good on the old fryer. Let's get her in, get rid of me, and put Philippa Fernandez on here. Right, that's it, we're up and running, guys. Let's do it. 12 tables today, please. Emma's upgraded. Team player, rock star. Just sit and wait and hope. 5 out of 12, down to 4 out of 12. I kind of, part of me feels like we need to have more than 12 seats in order to get 12 people sat down. But I mean, we're 98% uh, popularity. I mean, we couldn't be any more flipping popular. First fire of the day. Taking on those extra cooking stuff really helped out. Is that me just standing there doing absolutely sod all? No, that's Mark Weaver. low and stuff look we can afford to getting more stuff now I mean this is not a financial problem we should have the space oh these have gone up quite a lot look at this Ten out of twelve seats full. This is the only thing we need to do. It went up to eleven then for a second. I think if we get an extra table in, it might make it easier for us to do this. Let's duplicate that table. No! I just went into debt by twenty-two pounds! No! Why did I do that? Why did I do that? What an imbecile. I have so got to pay more attention to that. The amount of times I've said, be careful not to do that, and then I just bloody go and do it anyway. 
Right, we're not going to hire that extra staff member. We're just going to go with what we've got. We know it's working. What an idiot. What an idiot. Right, here we go. We haven't really got to worry about anything. we just got to let time go. And then just get those tables in where we need them. I will attempt and duplicate one table right now. Which puts us a little bit close to going into debt. Everyone is cooking superbly today. Emma's ranking up. International chef, team player. Just perfection so far. Right, how many have we got? Six out of 12. We've got 66 dollars, uh, 66, blah, blah, blah. 66 pounds, and oh, there we go. Bit of cash coming in. A few people pay for their meals just at the right time teetering on the edge of going into debt. Look, 99% positivity. Uh, popularity, rather. We couldn't be more popular. Who levelled up? Sean levelled up. Where's Sean? Oh, there he is. I can even see him. Make him an Iron Man. He doesn't even slow down when he's tired. How many have we got? 9 out of 12. 9 out of 12. We're so close. I was going to get another table then, but we've only got 640. That's going to bring us a bit too close to going into debt. I don't want to repeat that stupid flipping move again. As soon as we get a thousand, I'll grab that extra table. And then we'll have 14 tables and we've only got to fill 12 of them. We're at 10 at the moment. I mean, we're 100% popularity. I mean, everybody wants to eat here. Everybody wants to eat here. Why is it so messy? Right, we've got that thousand. The thousand is in. Duplicate the table. I think I could even squeeze in an extra one there, look. It's a little bit squeezed in. No! I just did it again! Oh, what an idiot. Oh my god. Oh my god. What an idiot. I cannot believe I did that again. Holy cow. Right, I'm not allowed to touch anything. So that I had a thousand pounds, and I put two tables in. So sometimes they're over five hundred quid. I don't get it. Don't get it. Come on, we just need twelve tables. It's all that needs to happen. It's such a small. Well, it's not a small thing. It's 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 an, it's an easy thing. Maybe we need to expand again. Maybe we need like 20 tables to be able to fill 12. I don't know. I definitely think you need more than 12 to fill 12. Because unless 12 people turn up and leave at exactly the same time, then you're always going to have one in, one out sort of situation. expand out here, couldn't I? Right, running low on ingredients can't be happening.
Fire in the kitchen. It's Philip Dixon. Cooking poorly for some reason. Very good chef. Just having a, an off day, an off moment. Right, let's grab that one table. Put it in and stop messing about. We'll be patient now. There's no rushing. We have plenty of time. If I shifted all these tables up by one, I think I could get another table in here as well. 100% popularity. Three and a half stars. Somebody leveled up. Who leveled up? Emma leveled up. Make her a team player. Sean leveled up. Chatterbox. Still a bit messy there. I'm not I'm not liking the mess in the kitchen, in the eating area. Definitely need more cleaning stuff. Alright. Duplicate. La table. Do we have any cleaners? Is a cleaner level 3, 5, 4... Wow, that... Great cleaners. I've just got to find them again. Cleaners, cleaners, cleaners. Yeah, you're not going to be a waiter. You're going to be a cleaner. Three level five cleaners. This doesn't work very well. Dragging between uh, groups is, is difficult once you've got more than sort of two. Um, okay, right. Let's go into cleaning mode. Let's see these guys. No, no, no. Just cleaners now. See if that fixes the cleaning situation. Super high performance cleaning team should be able to cope with that, I would say. It might be so bad at the moment that they can't get on top of it, but I think come tomorrow morning. Look at that, three people got up and they all needed the toilet at the same time find that so weird. 9 out of 12. Are we ever going to do this? Are we ever going to hit 12 out of 12? Bit of an ask. I'm going to move that door. In preparation for expanding and putting a couple more tables in here. Quite tricky to uh, complete. That's a lot of tables now. 
need to come in here to the cleaning rotor and I just need to expand that to include that section there. Right. So we're going to have to have another day's crack at this. I think we got up to like 10 before. I'm sure we hit 11 a couple of times. Just got to get that 11 people sat down at the same time. That is quite a challenge. Proving to be uh, more demanding a challenge than I was expecting, if I'm being honest. Cleaning team are here. Let's hope they get this up and running. It's a shame you can't have more than three people on a cleaning motor because, I mean, this is quite a big area. I suppose what you would do is you would say, right, you clean the top half, we'll clean the bottom half. But yeah, we're actually struggling to get the restaurant clean, even for the start of, start of play. Nobody is cleaning here. Finally on it. Finally on it. Five people sat down and eating. There's nothing I need to do. There really is nothing I need to do. Just sit and wait. And hope that we hit 12. Three and a half star restaurant. Very close to being a four star restaurant, I'd say. Plenty of tables now. We're 8 out of 12. 8 out of 12. Down to 6. That's annoying. Just as two, two new sets of customers came in and we went down to 6. It's like fire in the kitchen, nothing to worry about. 7 out of 12, oh, down to 6 out of 12. 6 out of 12. Down to 4 out of 12. 3 o'clock in the afternoon. When does it get busy here? Still, it's not clean, that section, though. Eight out of twelve. We're into the night time, it's five o'clock. Eight out of twelve, nine out of twelve for a second. Ah, uh, maybe if I bring the prices down. Do you think that would work? Ten out of twelve. Come on, two more. Two more customers. Two more, please, two more customers. down to eight. Philip, fast feet, Emma, team player, Sim, I upgraded. Well done, me. Uh, firefighter. Seems like a good idea. It's weird how I don't get to keep these traits with each mission. Every time we start a new mission, I go back to having no traits whatsoever. Right, 6 out of 12. Ah, oh, man. Popularity went down. I oh, know it's back up to 100% again. So what we're going to do, we're going to come into the menu here and we're going to go fifty bucks. It only costs us three pound fifty to make. We're going to sell it for ten bucks. Mama's dish. Look at the markup on that. Disgraceful. This one's just a joke. House of ribs. 
Come on, we've got to have a full house. I mean, we're going to bring the price down so much. It's got to be the most busiest of all the busies. It's got to be. Here we go. Might have to be tomorrow. So the restaurant is finally clean. I can see a bit of dirty footprints over here that aren't being picked up for whatever reason. Well, there we go. So now, maybe the cleaning team are on top of it. Maybe tomorrow it will be completely clean. Look at that, we got five stars, twice. That's incredible. We just need to hit 12 tables. I didn't, I didn't realize this was gonna be harder than doing a day without negative reviews, but it is. Two and a half grand today. Let's see how much we make today. Probably a thousand. Right, come on, the prices are super low. Is there no way I can, like, pr do promotion and stuff? In fact, I should add that to my Steam review. Media promotions and things like that. Advertising. I did something good there. Sumi K did something positively. Well done, me. Right, 7 out of 12. Come on. I mean, we are so cheap right now. People who... I mean, we're so popular. Everyone wants to eat here, and the prices have just dropped. 75%. How are we not going to fill up 12 seats today? It's got to happen, right? What else can I do? kitchen. Knock that on the air, gentlemen. 8 out of 12. 9 out of 12. It's like the game just doesn't produce enough people to uh, fill it in. Running low on pork loin, huh? Come on now. 9 out of 12. We can't even get 10. No customers at all. Down to eight. Down to seven. Perhaps we just need even more tables. We're not even hitting 10. I mean, at one point, before I did all the upgrades, we did 11. That's how close we've been. Oh, wow. got rid of that horrible mess that's got to do something that's got to promote the company and improve the willingness for customers to turn up surely surely to goodness right, move 
the window, again, move the door, again, move the light, again, and then let's get rid of the wall. Make sure we're not spending more than we've got. Definitely going to need two cleaning teams here. So this one, I'm going to shrink it. And I'm going to take off this entire section. And then I'm going to add a new one. Put this section back in. And we're going to have the cleaning staff. Sean Powell. Who am I? Who are my waiters? Who are my waiters? Emma Hicks, Kevin Hamilton. He's a rubbish cleaner. Right, good. Duplicate table. Back down to having hardly any cash, but I mean, come on. Not about cash anymore, it's about getting bums on seats. It's proving to be far more complicated than it should be. But I've split the cleaning rotor for the uh, for the, the main eating area. Hopefully that's going to allow us to get things cleaned up. I mean, it's a total mess at the moment. So maybe they'll need the morning to get it back on it an even keel before they can sort of maintain it. But oh, somebody ranked up. Who was that? Me. Well done, me. Second wind, lower my stress, doing stuff. Yep, good. It's looking pretty good. I mean, it's a big old restaurant now, isn't it? Just about getting those 12 seats, those 12 tables at the same time. Somebody sat there. Is your other half in the toilet? Looks like, looks like, yep, that's what it was. Okay. Right, pause, grab, move, the taba, the tabla. Who's on that table then? Nobody's on that table. Cleaning, right. Can I move it now? Very uniform, isn't it? Very uniform. Duplicate. Let's not risk it. Let's not go into debt. Let's keep 640 in the bank. <sighs> okay, we're enormous. We're absolutely enormous. Only 6% negative comments. We just need 12 bums on seats at the same time. That's all I need. <coughs> it's taken me two hours to get it. Come on. It's gotta happen today. Let's get this place cleaned up, please, guys. Our prices are so low.
So we've got 5 out of 12 already. That's a good start. Eight out of 12. Yes, this is looking much, much more positive. Nine out of 12, and then we have a fire. A bit concerned about the money situation. It's a bit low. Once people pay their uh, food bills, we should be okay. Well, I say should be okay. We're, we're hardly charging anything. So our profit is like super low. Jamal had a bit of a nightmare, but he's okay. His stress levels were okay. We had some five stars there. Pretty sure we did. How are we doing? Nine out of 12. Come on. 10 out of 12. 11. It flicked up to 11. We've got 11. One more table, please. God. One more table from anywhere. Anybody. Anything. Free meal. You don't even have to pay. Yes! Finally. One hour and 40 minutes. My God, it was actually a lot longer than that. Two hours and 20 minutes nearly. Oh, wow. That was tough. That's so hard just to get 12 people to sit down. But we did it. We achieved it. Well done us. That is fantastic. I'm going to go see what the next level is all about. Um, and I'm, I'm even going to start the next level because otherwise the game doesn't save properly. But... Um, yeah, man, that was tough. Big Carrot, David Chang. We're hoping to succeed. We're okay with failure. We just don't want to land in between. You made it to the big city and your lifelong dream is about to become a reality. Fortune and glory awaits, but behind all the glitz and glamour, not, uh, uh, not all is as it seems. The restaurant is in serious debt and its team, while skilled, are arrogant and argumentative with both inflated career ambitions and wage expectations. To make matters worse, all of the problems we've faced with customers so far will only be amplified in such a high-profile spot. Forget about serving Jamal's ribs. This neighbourhood's discerning clientele of investment bankers, doctors, influencers and movie directors have eaten all the very best establishments all over the world and their expectations won't be easily met. This will be the ultimate challenge as you try to claw your way out of debt, manage staff, infighting and mass massage the biggest customer egos you're ever likely to come across. You're on the home stretch now, and if you can solve this tricky puzzle, I guarantee you, you'll be able to handle any restaurant in the world. Let's go. Starting money, 1,000 in debt. That's not a huge debt, is it? 20% popularity is quite easy to start with. We've got to buy four plots, 12 seats. We know that's hard. 70% popularity, we can do that. And a bonus for 100% popularity. We could probably do that as well. So this is the restaurant, it's quite nice. I mean, look at the plots you can buy, they're tiny. And very cheap. That's not gonna be a problem at all. I think we can cope. You're in debt though, if you end the day in the red, you'll go broke. So consider selling some stuff. Yeah, I think we're probably gonna to have to sell some stuff. I mean, look how few tables there are. Crazy. All right, well, let's open and that'll save the game and then we can progress maybe another time. Thank you for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. That was a nightmare and a half, but I kind of enjoyed it as well. And I'm glad I completed it. I really am. Whew, my own worst enemy sometimes. Until next time, take care, guys. Goodbye for now.